All right, Uma Fight Camp, I'm working fast. This is part two on karate blocks, all right? Now, again, you've heard people say, oh, you know, karate blocks are like this. You know, to reiterate, ah, oh, man, you know, don't work. Nobody's going to block like that. Nobody's going to block like this, okay? Nobody's going to block like that, okay? As I said in part one, that was just to show beginners how to block and where the block should go. You were told block middle, middle. This is where it should be. They didn't get caught up so much in this movement. They wanted you to learn that this is where your block should be. 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 This is where it 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 should be. Okay? That's it. Now, I'm going to do four things right here, or three things right here. Okay? Okay? What I do? I just use the low block. I use this block. I was boxing, but I came down. Bang. Bang. Kadum but I. That's what I did. Okay? Now here we go. Okay? What I do? I used the inside middle block. I didn't go from here or here. I went here and here. Okay? Again, one more time. What I do? Upward block, rising block. I didn't go from here or here, but I use karate blocks. That's what Okinawans meant for the block to be. They did not mean for you to go from here or here in a fight. Or here or here in a fight. No. They just wanted to show you where the block should end up and what part of your arm you should be blocking with. Next, there are two things that blocks were meant to do. Most people, again, 6th, 7th, 8th, ninth degree black belts don't know because they never studied boxing or they never studied, excuse me, never studied karate. Two things that blocks were supposed to do and it explains some of the rigid motion. One, blocks were meant to do damage to the limb. When you blocked, it was meant to do damage to the punch or to the kick. So if you block somebody's arm hard enough, boom. Block somebody's kick hard enough, boom. With your bone, you're going to do damage to that particular limb. Understand that when karate was created, they weren't talking about this fighting back and forth that many of us talk about when we're moving around and doing all kinds of styles. You're talking about fighting. You're talking about give and take. You hit me and I hit you. That's one of the problems I have with many people on YouTube. You're always talking about fighting. You know, you hit me two times, I hit you two times. No. People should not be trying to fight. They should be trying to win. And when you try to win, you're trying to hit the person and they don't hit you. You're trying to get to the blind spot and get behind them and they don't hit you. That's what karate was about. It wasn't this give and take that they wanted to indulge in. They wanted to render you helpless as easy as possible and as quickly as possible. So blocking was meant to hurt whatever limb you were throwing. That's why one reason it was so rigid. Next. Blocking was never meant to be a purely defensive move. It was meant to be the first technique in an attack. So when you blocked, you weren't just supposed to block and move back. You were supposed to block and move their arm this way so you could get to their blind side. Or block and move their body this way so you could get underneath. It was the first technique in an attack, not a purely defensive move. Okay, so once you blocked, you were to block and move them in such a direction where you could get your counterattack off. Not just blocking, 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 you block five times, I block five times. 
These are things that high-ranking black belts do not know. They do not understand, okay? Again, two things. The block was meant to damage the limb that was being thrown at you. That's one reason why it is so rigid and hard, okay? Two, the block was meant to be the first technique in an attack. Somebody attacks you, you do the block, but when you do the block, not only are you deflecting that particular blow, but you are trying to move that person's body, force that person's body in a position that allows you to counterattack, okay? So, let's reiterate, it was never meant for you to block this way. It was never meant for you to block that way or this way. It was meant for you to move and block this way. Block this way. Block this way. Okay? The only reason they taught you or taught in this kind of motion was the same way they teach you when they're throwing that pad across your head in exaggerated motion. To get you to learn the basics. That's what it was about. Okay? Lastly, I want to say something about knowing karate and really studying it. Okay? There was a collar called MP. It is an advanced brown belt, black belt collar called MP. One of the last moves, some of the last, the last few moves of MP actually is this, where there is a low block, there is a block, and then a move, and when a move is here, I'm trying to stay in the camera, the move is here, and then they jump, and back in this position, and then back in this position. The move I want you to take notice of is this one. There is a low block here, and then a skip in this way, and then a jump back, okay? When they jump back, what do you think this is? And then the jump. What this is, is I have actually blocked, gone underneath the opponent's crotch, lifted them up, and threw them over. Bang! And then came around with a knife hand block. Now, how many people, how many of you knew that in Shotokan Karate, they have in their kata a version of the fireman's carry? You didn't know it. Most black belts don't know it. Most black belts don't know in that kata, MPA kata, that many people see many times, they actually have a fireman's carry. They didn't call it that. It's a throw. But they block and then come in, grab, lift, throw over, and then come back around. There you go. Uma Fight Camp. Safe corner. Train hard, train smart. See you in the next video.